Unboxing the Arts is presented by the Arts Resource Hub. So now that you have decided what kind of arts company you would like to set up, how do you raise funds for it? Join me in this series of Unboxing the Arts, setting up your own arts company. Welcome to Unboxing the Arts. The objective of this series is to give the arts practitioners a glimpse into how to professionalise your arts practice and to look into things that matter beyond creating or making the arts. I'm Jeremiah Choi and I'm a trained lawyer and I've been in the creative arts industry for the past 30 years. It is my personal belief that we should always apply the art of business to the business of the arts. In this series, we'll be looking at how to set up your own arts company and there'll be five videos on this. In video one, we looked at what kind of arts company or organisation you would like to set up for profit and not for profit. In video two, we looked at for profit entities. Video three looked at different types of partnerships. Video four looked at not for profit entities. And in this final video five, we'll be looking at financing your arts business. In this episode, we will look at the different ways you can finance your arts company. Capital, loan, grants and support schemes, equity and crowdfunding. Well, capital is the money or asset that is available for the purpose of setting up your company. There are several common sources of capital which includes personal savings, friends and family, angel investors, venture capitalists, corporations or companies, government funding, or private loans. You can also have work or business operations or initial public offerings or IPO which are shares offered by private corporations to the public. There are also other ways that you can finance your arts company. You can have a personal loan. You can borrow money from your friends, your family or from a bank or even mortgage your assets or property with a bank to raise funds. However, a piece of advice. A saying goes, it is very easy to borrow money, but it's very difficult to return the money you borrow. So, should there be a failure in your business, you are putting your relationship with your friends or family at risk. Of course, there are also many grants and support schemes from the government to help you kickstart your dreams or to help sustain it. One of the websites that you can start looking for suitable grants is gobusiness.gov.sg. Here are some of the grants or support schemes that are available and you can take a look at them. For example, for Enterprise Singapore for Startups. For Infocom Media Development Authority or IMDA, you can look at the Media Enterprise Program. Or if you have arts grants that you are hoping to apply for, you can look at the National Arts Council's website. And if you are looking into social entrepreneurship, you can look at Singapore Centre for Social Enterprise or RACE. There are also other means of getting money for your business, such as raising equity by selling part of your business. You can raise funds through the sale of shares of your business if you are a private limited company, or you can sell part of the ownership of your company in return for cash. And there's crowdfunding. You can raise money from a potential large group of investors from the public. This can be used to fund a project, a new business venture, or a product launch of a worthy cause. However, you must understand that crowdfunding is regulated by the Monetary Authority of Singapore, MAS. Debt-based crowdfunding are under the Securities and Futures Act and the Financial Advisors Act. Projects that involve donations and reward-based crowdfunding that do not involve offer of securities or loans are not subject to the MAS regulations. So we've reached the fifth and final episode of Unboxing the Arts, setting up your own arts company. Hopefully, this is a kickstart to your dream of having your own arts company and to run your business in the arts. Remember to always apply the art of business in the business of the arts. Until then, see you.